Good morning. The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate the um, use of Dairy Comp uh, to get reproductive data so that it can be used in the RepMon program uh, that comprehensively evaluates reproductive data for dairy cows, a uh, program developed uh, uh, at the Center for Animal Health and Productivity um, with Dr. Ferguson. Uh, first of all, what we want to do is to get into your Dairy Comp file. And so if we go to Dairy Comp, uh, so here I'm in Dairy Comp. Uh, the first thing I'll want to do is to get into the command situation, uh, command line, so I can type in alter and get to the command line and add items. And the items we want to add are uh, the breeding dates for first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, all the way up to the seventh breeding. So we want to add all of these items. And I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to add uh, the breeding date for the third breeding. And the way we do that would be to do an add, and uh, the variable name we want to be a B3, hit return, and the type of the variable is a 70, a date, and so you type in 70, and the date of the event of interest is breeding, so I select breeding, and the number of the event that we're in is the third, so I type in 3, notice you could type in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we go all the way up to 7. And then also you could have uh, another breeding date that we call that BL last that has a minus 1 in it as a operator. So it gives us the last breeding. So once I've created that, I can also give it a name. So the uh, th uh, third, uh, you want third breeding date. OK, and I want to save this. I say yes. Uh, so I now exit alter and uh, now I come back into alter so that I can go to the command lines. So now here's the command lines and I'm going to create two commands uh, that we can issue that will um, then create the, uh, uh, the data that we want to look at. Uh, and the first one is called repmon. We like to call it repmon. So you give it the name and then you type in list, ID, lactation, fresh date, and then B1, B2, and I'm going to insert B3. B3, that was the, the latest item that we created. B4, 5, 6, 7, and B last, it would be that last breeding date. And then age at first calving, and then rep2 will be the second command line. So this is going to run this first and add to it the commands the, and items that are in rep2. So I'm going to say OK. All right, so it stored that. And the second one I want to um, uh, to deal with is uh, rep2. And so uh, we can see it here. Uh, it's the repro code, previous times bred, previous days open, uh, all the other items. We put in a condition for a fresh date greater than uh, uh, 12, 299, so that we uh, don't go back too far in history. And then the slash AB um, uh, gets records from the um, the archive files. So I'm OK with this. And so I say OK. And I exit out of the uh, alter commands altogether. So now I can type in repmon, R-E-P-O-M-O-N, which was that first command. And what it's going to do is it's going to run uh, the data. And so here it gets the ID, fresh bread date, lactation, fresh date, time spread, B1, 2, 3, 4. There's my uh, third breeding column for animals that had it. And it carried all the way out to the right all of the data. And so at this point, I have the information that I now want to save as a file that RepMon can read. And we do that by clicking on the Save, uh, Write a Report to a File. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to put this in a um, a special directory. Okay, I'm going to look at this. I'll put it in. Uh, uh, this was a herd that we visited to in China. So I'm going to go to China and I'll call this China 3. Okay, and we want to make sure we add the dot CSV. Okay, so we need that comma, um, the limited file signature. So CSV, save. So now I've created everything. Uh, I've got the data out of uh, Dairy Comp. And so now I'm going to go into my RepMon program. And in the RepMon program, we can now look at, um, uh, we want to import data. And the data I want to import, so I'm going to click on Import, go to my file where I put that data set, uh, and there's China 3. Click on it, and it's importing. It says that the uh, file has been imported, so we're OK. And now I click on the Calculate button, um, enter in the, the last test date, um, uh, 
this was the uh, put in the name China Dairy okay and I just click OK and now it's doing the calculations um, and so after this is done we get to the summary page we can see the heat detection insemination efficiency is about 71 percent so opportunity for improvement uh, the overall aggregate pregnancy across all lactations is 21 percent pregnancy rate so that's not too bad uh, we can also look at the um, distribution to first breeding and so here we're looking at days to first breeding so we can see that uh, there's either some there's some cherry picking or uh, going on before they enter a um, it looks like an ovisync program possibly here uh, we can also look at how well they're controlling the failures to second breeding and we can see that they're not really uh, much under control so there's some further opportunity here uh, so um, uh, this is a quick way to look at the um, the overall reproductive um, efficiency you can go back to the summary and look at uh, uh, what the conception rates are by season by lactation uh, and a whole host of other uh, ways of analyzing the data thank you